Hi everyone. Today's agenda is learning about content documents uh, or also called notes, the enhanced notes. Now, all the agendas uh, mentioned in these slides are, first of all, how to enable the enhanced notes in a Salesforce org. Uh, moreover, like I told you, notes is nothing but uh, a content document. So how is a content document related to a standard or custom object? That is something we are going to see. Then dynamically finding out that the object which is related to the content document is of what S object type or which object is it? What is the file type of the document that is connected to the object dynamically again? And then the last thing that we are going to see or try is uh, when a document is linked to a particular object, let's say case, for example, over here. And if that document type is S node, then we need to throw an error. So let's quickly start with it. So the first agenda was that how to enable notes in our Salesforce org. So all you need to do is in the quick find, you just have to type note settings. Then you come at the note settings and just enable notes. Now, once you enable the notes, second thing that we are going to do is, let's say on the account object, I want to enable the notes. So I'll go to the layouts. Let's say for the account that I am using, the layout uses training account layout. I go there. I go to the related list and I would add notes over here. There's also something uh, added to it called files. The files related list is also present. Even the file is a content document. So let me save both of these. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go to the lightning record page. Okay, here I am. The first related list that is there is of files and the second one is of notes. So I'll add it again just to show you. So let's say I add related list single here. Again, I add one more related list single over here. Instead of activity history, I'm first putting here files. And instead of the second activity history, I'll be putting notes. Not notes and attachments. We are talking about notes, the content document. Okay. Let me save it. And let's go back. Now we are on account. I refresh the page. And here you see files, here you see notes. So how does the enhancement notes work is I do a new year and there's a pop-up. Now that I put anything here, you see it's saving here automatically. So it got linked to account. Now the first thing that happens is it gets linked to user and then to account. We'll come on it later, but this is how ideally the note notes looks like. Okay. Now let's go to the second agenda that we had. Relationship between the objects and the content document. Now, like I told you, content document is nothing but this one. So any file or notes that you attach gets saved as a content document in the backend. Now, how does it get linked to the standard or custom object is through content document link. This link entity ID field that you have on content document link is nothing but the ID of the standard or custom object and content document ID is nothing but the ID of the content document that is present in Salesforce, like that gets created in the backend, right? So this, you can call it as a junction object between standard custom object and the content document. Now this content document could be a file type, uh, like could have a file type of PNG, uh, JPG, 
or S note. Now, what is S note? S note is nothing but the note that I showed you. I created that was nothing but S note. So when you create a note on an account, let's say account, I'm just giving as an example. But when you create a note on the account, that is the file type of that note is S note. When I attach a JPG file to the uh, account object, that file is also a content document and its uh, file type is JPG or PNG or whatever. Okay, so let's go back to the third agenda. Finding out which object is linked to the content document dynamically or using Apex. So let's quickly look at it. Now, like I showed you in that diagram that uh, there are three objects, standard custom objects that we have on Salesforce. It's uh, child is uh, the content document link. And there is one more parent object to this content document link, which is content document, right? Content document link is a junction object. Now, our agenda is to find out using Apex that the content document that we have attached to an object, which object is that? So let's quickly write a trigger for that. Now for that, we are going to write a trigger on this object, content document link object. Now let's say we are doing it before insert. So what am I going to do here is, I am writing a very, very simple trigger. What am I doing is the trigger dot new I'm iterating through each content document link and to find out which object is it linked to. I'm going to use this property of the content document link or the field of the content document link called link entity ID. So I'm going to debug CDL dot link entity ID dot get S object type. Now it is going to show me that it is attached to which object. Okay. Let me comment this. So there's just one line of code that we have written. Okay. Now coming back here, there's nothing in the debug log. Now I'm going to create a new node. The moment I do that, here you can see saving. Okay, save. I go back. Now there are two debug logs. I'll tell you why. Let's debug only. Debug only. Like you could see, this was this log was created first, right? One minute, one hour, 37 minutes, like 1 p.m. 37 milliseconds is when this was created. And the S object type is user. And then you can see it's account. So by default, what happens is I am trying to create nodes from account, but still the first object that it gets linked to is the user object. It gets linked to the user record who is creating this node. And only after that, it gets created on the actual object on which you are creating the node. So that is why you were able to see two logs. One is the first time when it got created, it got create, it got linked to the user record who is creating it. And the second account on which this is created. So this fulfills our first agenda, finding out dynamically which object is it linked to. Now, the next thing that we are going to see is the content document that we attached on the account, let's find out what is the type or the file type of that content document, okay? So let's say I create a map here. Called CDL document map. The ID here stands for the uh, content document link and the ID the second ID here stands for the content document ID. So I'm going to uncomment this line. What am I doing is in this, I'm putting the current content document link ID and content document link dot content document ID. Now, the next thing that I am going to do is
coming out of this for loop, checking that this CDL document map that we got above is not empty. If it is not empty, then what am I doing is, I am querying the content document object now. Okay, so I'm creating a content document map. You can see here, it's of type content document. Select ID and file type. Now file type is going to tell us that this content document that I attach on the object is of which file type, right? So ID comma file type from content document where ID in CDL document map dot values. Now the CDL uh, document map contains, the value contains the document ID. So that is why I've taken all the values. Coming through that, if it is not empty, then we are going to again iterate through the same trigger dot move and coming to each content document link. Now from this content document link, I go back to this content CDL document map and I get the content document ID here. I store it here. And from this map now I've created content document map. I'm going to get the content document record. So here I got the content document. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is print what file type is it. That is, so we got which file type is it. Let me close the for loop. Let me close the if and let me close the final if. Okay, let's save this. Right? Okay, now coming back here. Let me go to a new account rather. Or let us actually create a new account. Or you know what, let's go here only. Because otherwise, I'll again have to change the, put everything in the layout. And, okay, so we are here. Now, I am attaching a new note to it. First, let me clear all the logs. Okay, they are clear. Test note 8. Saving. Save. Okay. So let's go to the debug log. Like I told you, first it would be attached to the user object. So when I do a debug only, it shows me user and the file type is note. Now let me go here, debug, account and file type is note, okay? So that was our set th third agenda, finding out what is the document type. I'll also show you one thing. Let's say we go and attach a file here. Okay, and I press done. Coming here. Let's look at the log. So here you see the file type is PDF, right? So even the file is a kind of a content document. Okay, that was our third agenda. Now next is, let's say I want to restrict creating nodes from case object, like whenever somebody goes and tries to attach case to a content document, I need to give an error. Now you would say the simplest thing is, what you can do is do not have notes related list on the case page layout or on the case lightning record page, do not have a related list of notes. Yeah, that is surely one way. But do you know that on the notes, let's say I create a note from account, I can also do this. I can add to records, select a case here and attach to that case. Salesforce cannot stop you from doing that. You can go and in fact attach to any standard or custom object, right? So even if you have disabled the note or removed the note related list from the case page layout, but still if you are creating a note from account and attaching it to a case, Nothing can prevent you from doing that. But let's say if I want to do that, then how can I do that? So for that, 
we can write trigger and we can prevent that. So all that I'm going to do here is only if it is the link entity ID of the content document link is the, I mean, the S object type is case, then add that content document link to the document map. And only then the further logic would happen. Let's say if it is an account, it will not even come here. So this would be empty. So nothing will happen. But if it is a case, we are going to put the content document link ID and the content document ID here, and then it will come here. Now, the next thing that it is going to do is it is going to find out the file type of that content document. If the file type is note, only then I want to prevent user. Okay. If it's a file, I don't want to. So what would be my next step here is I would just say that if the content document dot file type equal to equal to S node. Yeah. So when it is a node, the file type would be S node. If that is equal to S node, then I'm going to add this error, cannot add node to the case. Let me save this. Okay. Now, let me go to some account. Let's say test account. You see here, there are so many nodes. Let me clear the logs. Let's say I add a new note. Again, it's saving, save. So because we had said that remaining steps would only be performed if it is a case. That's why the other debug logs that we had said is not visible, right? Because it didn't come only over here. Same for user. If the S object type of the linked document entity, linked entity ID is of case, only then it's going to come inside. So let me now add two records from here. Select cases, add a particular case and click on add. Do you see? Now we have the error because we have prevented it through the trigger. Now there is one limitation that you need to know. Although we have given a custom error message over here, cannot add note to the case, right? But still, this is kind of how Salesforce behaves. This is a standard behavior which you cannot change. You can't see that error message over here. Rather, you could see a generic error message, standard one that is thrown by Salesforce, that you can't add note to some records, remove the selected records and try again. And even this is a standard pop-up that is, uh, pop, not pop-up, but a notification label that is shown by Salesforce. So you cannot control this. But yeah, that is about it. So we have covered all the uh, agenda and that's about it. If this video helped, Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.